Hey Valiants, it's me Johanna here, a recent graduate from the class of 2015. Today I just wanted to give you guys some advice and recommendations about going away from home for college. Some benefits of moving away from home for college are, first of all, that you get to explore a whole new city. I'm currently in San Francisco attending the University of San Francisco and personally I love San Francisco. I think it's such an amazing city. There's so much culture, there's so much life. Another benefit of moving away is that you really get a sense of independence. I mean, now, not being at home all the time, not having my parents there, I have to do my own laundry, I have to do my own grocery shopping, I have to be the one who manages my own time, my own money. It really makes me realize, like, I'm in charge of my life right now. An additional benefit is that you really appreciate home a lot more when you leave. What I love about being here and just attending this school as I mentioned earlier, I love San Francisco, so getting to go to school here is just an amazing advantage. The small, medium size, it's not a huge university, it's a pretty small campus. I like that I can wake up at 9.45 and make it to my 10 o'clock class because it's only a five minute walk. I also really like that all the classrooms are super small. Like. I have maybe my biggest class of maybe 30 students and that's just nice because I get to meet everybody in my class and I get to have a one-to-one -one relationship with my professor and like I don't feel shy. I also love that USF provides so many opportunities to get involved in different aspects of the university here. For instance, I'm part of Reinvest USF, which is a group that focuses on reinvesting the endowment fund money of the university into greener and sustainable energy. I'm also part of Food Network Recovery, which we go to our cafeteria and we collect all the unused and like uneaten food that is typically thrown away every another night and we collect it and we save it. And on Tuesday and Thursday, we go to a homeless shelter and serve it to other people. I think these are awesome programs and I just love being involved in them. Now, some advice I would offer all of you who are still in high school, who are still like in that like, what am I gonna do with my life phase? What am I gonna be? Um, some advice for you guys is definitely do your research about what school you wanna go to, what kind of school you'd like to go to. Um, everybody wants to go to the big schools and I think that's great, but if maybe you're not one of those people, you might feel overwhelmed like I did feel going to such big schools and touring them and realizing I'd feel so small there. Do your research, look for the smaller schools. Just because they're small and not as well known doesn't mean they're not as great. Plus, they typically give a lot more scholarship money. Additional advice, I think, would be to take a lot of AP classes. While I was at St. Genevieve, I took five AP classes and I passed them all. So that amounted to me to earning 32 credits, which is typically the amount of credits you take your freshman year of college. Because I had so many credits coming in, I'm technically marked as a sophomore, which means the beginning of next semester, I will be starting my junior year which is exciting because I get the opportunity to graduate in three years instead of four, which is really nice. Now, I'm gonna have somebody you guys all know and somebody I'm super blessed and lucky to go to school with, my best friend, Amanda Rivas, offer you guys some advice, some of her own advice for all of you. Hi, everybody. Well, so I guess my advice comes in regards with APs. I am actually in sophomore standing as well, but not but I'm going into my second part of sophomore year next semester, not, not my junior year. But anywho, I definitely re recommend you to take any AP you consider. I mean, definitely don't overload to the point where you want to cry, but don't be afraid to not do something because you think it's going to be hard. I didn't do AP Spanish because I was like, no, like, I've been taking Spanish for 10 years, so I haven't learned it, like, why am I going to do it? But now I still have to do my language requirement, and it's like, oh my gosh, I could have done this, and it could have been done with. So definitely I encourage you to, like, not be afraid and let little things hold you back. Other advice, I think, would be don't be afraid, like, coming into college and not knowing what you're going to major in or what you want to do. Um, I came in as an undeclared student. I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I ended up taking some classes to figure out what I would like to do. Now I'm an environmental studies major. And I'm more than likely going to end up double minoring in history and theology. One thing I would do different, I would have definitely taken AP Calculus with Mr. Bolsoy because now I haven't taken math classes for two years and I have to take my first math class next semester so I can graduate on time. And I know that if I had taken AP Calc with Mr. Bolsoy, then I wouldn't be in this situation right now. <laughs> you just stuck with the math, then the language. It's okay. I mean, 
you make mistakes, you learn from it. But we're here to help you so you don't make our mistakes. <laughs> but yeah, no. I mean, definitely don't be afraid to challenge yourself in high school. If anything, I feel like high school is a good place to challenge yourself before you get even more challenged in college. And you just have such a great support system there at St. Jen's that when you go away, you realize that a lot more. Well, I think that's all for us today, you guys. So have a great evening. And then also, if you guys ever need help with anything, you guys know you can contact us. Mr. Thompson knows where to reach us. So yeah, have a good day and hurrah for Valiant.